Uh, this is uh, my voice three days on tea. Hi, my name is Leo, and this is my voice four weeks on testosterone. My name is Leo, and this is my voice two months on testosterone. Hi, my name is Leo, and this is my voice five and a half months on tea. Hi, my name is Leo, and this is my voice six months on tea. Hi, my name is Leo Lavender, and this is my voice ten months on tea. Let it bum up. Hi, my name is Lavender. My pronouns are they or he, and that was Bubba, my little baby boy. Um, so I'm going to talk about how I am two years on T. I'm actually like two years and almost two months because I procrastinated for a long time. Um, first thing I want to point out is I just got my wisdom teeth out, so my cheek is a little swollen. I'm not getting a big chad jaw it's only on this side so just look at this side that's what my jaw looks like <laughs> okay um so uh well, what should i talk about first <laughs> okay so the last video i made i was six months on tea um since then i've gotten hairier um i think my voice has gotten a little bit deeper and it's i think it's done now she's done she's done cooking um and I mean, that's about it. Also, I got a new haircut and it's like, <laughs> it's like a low undercut. That's what I'm calling it. It's cute. I've been wanting that haircut for a while. Um, I guess that's a change. My hairline has been, <sighs> people say that I'm not balding and it's not receding or whatever. It's just getting more male shape or whatever, whatever. Um, I did have like an entire crisis about my gender um because of my hairline uh because as you can tell i'm a femboy and like <sighs> a bottom that's balding like we can... it's it's fine okay um but it is like noticeably different like this is kind of if this part hasn't receded, my hair was straight across. I talked about that last time. I think it's gone back even more up here than in my last video. Um, it's something that I um, deliberately ignore. <laughs> and I put my hair uh, like this so I can't see it. Because um, it bothers me. I genuinely don't like it um you know if i could pick and choose which changes i got from tea and which i didn't i would i would prefer the way my hair used to look um but it's really not that big of a deal um as long as i don't go bald um which is a possibility um uh, don't like that and then the next change is you know Facial hair and body hair. In my last video that I made, I kind of showed the little, like, chin hairs and stuff. I was getting a little bit of sideburns. Like, you couldn't even see it. I don't... <laughs> it was goofy. Now, I... I just shaved. And I don't shave with, like, an actual razor. I just kind of buzz it off because I'm lazy. Um, but here's what I have. I have, like, nice, solid, you know... Uh, neck beard and like goatee thing my mustache still she's not thick i don't know why i got some stuff there it's kind of like a chin scrap it's not completely you know filled out i just started to get a little bit of hair in here like the little baby hairs so eventually the beard should fill out um but right now it's not and i think that's partially because i I'm lazy <laughs> and I'm supposed to be taking one and a half uh, packets of testosterone and I usually just do one because I'm lazy um, and it's like extra stuff to put on and then you have to, you know, put the half packet aside and use it later and it's like a whole thing and then sometimes I feel kind of, you know, weird about my gender so I just kind of go back and forth between one and one and a half which is probably not good for me but that's what I've been doing and that's probably why the changes haven't been 
happening as fast because for the most part, I probably am still in the low male range. So here's what my uh, testosterone looks like. It's in this little box and then it's in these little tubes. It used to be in little packets. Now it's these little tubes, which I don't like, but whatever. I don't know if I've talked very much about the difference between T-gel and like injections, but I really like T-gel. I found injections really, really stressful and apparently packet, uh, apparently T-gel doesn't work for everybody, but if it does work for you, I think it's a good option. I think a lot of people act weird about it. Like you're, you know, a pussy if you don't want to stab yourself with a needle every week. <laughs> it, like, it's the same exact thing. It's just a different way of getting it. It's not that big of a deal. You're fine. <laughs> if you don't want to stab yourself, you don't have to, probably. Oh, and I'll put a picture up of like my facial hair whenever it's more grown in a little bit. It, it's not cute. It's like, you know, really, uh, what's the word? It's really patchy and like, just yucky looking, <laughs> so I shave it. Um, but I do, I do like my facial hair. Um, you know, it gives me some euphoria. It's nice to have something there, even if it's something that I'm just shaving. I like having a little bit of stubble. Like it's very affirming. Um, what else? My hairy, hairy body. <laughs> I'm so hairy. Um, you can see now I have a decent amount of arm hair. I was kind of afraid of my arm hair growing because I'm like, you know, kind of skinny twinky and I thought it would look weird with like hair on my, like long hair, like it's just gonna wrap around my arm, my little arms, I don't know. Um, there you can see my hair, it goes up to my hands, which I don't love, it makes me feel like a monkey, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I like my arm hair. I shaved it a couple times and liked that. It's just like, I don't know, my gender's very fluid. Like, it's whatever I want it to be. I can do whatever I want. You can do whatever you want. Like, don't, like, chill out, man. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Um, and then I have pictures, but I'm just gonna get naked because that's easier. <laughs> okay. So my legs. I have nice hairy legs. Look at her. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I have pictures too of like my before tea and like on tea, blah, 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 whatever. Um, my weight redistribution. Um, I think this is about as good as it's going to get. Um, like, here really flattened out. This used to kind of go the whole way. Now it's this weird little dip thing and then it goes out to my, you know, big thighs. Um, I have a, <laughs> I have a very wide ass that I don't like, but like right here, this is bone. This is bone. It's not really going to go anywhere. Um, I don't think it's going to change that much. Um, but I just deal with it. <laughs> I am getting a decent amount of hair on my chest. Uh, it's taken a while to grow, but there you can see it's coming in, which is super poggers. So yeah, that's my hair. <laughs> Very goofy way to show my hair, just whatever. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is dysphoria. Um, because... Like, I think people talk a lot about, like, I guess, it's, I don't know. <laughs> people talk a lot about how tea can make you more dysphoric about other things, like, you know, maybe your chest or, like, whenever you get top surgery, it can make you more dysphoric about your wiener. Um, <laughs> um, but... I've kind of found like the opposite is the case. Like obviously being on tea, like having different features that I want is going to make me less dysphoric, but also things that don't change like my, like my hips and like kind of ass, my ass, it's just my ass shape. <laughs> my weird like 
My ass is shaped like this. Um, that hasn't really changed. It's like a little bit of weight distribution has changed. I'm, you know, more uh, rectangular. That's not what people say. I'm less curvy. Um, but my ass is still like that. My hips are still pretty wide. It's still like noticeably whatever. Um, I'm less bothered by it now that I'm on T because I have other features that kind of <laughs> that kind of push me more in the direction of, you know, male or a male body. Um, and people perceive me, for the most part, as a guy, um, which is good. Like, like I can kind of tell myself, you know, I have this, you know, gorgeous, juicy, pear-shaped ass, but... You know, I have facial hair. I have, you know, this hairy monkey body. So it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, my dysphoria is like hardly a thing anymore. Like it's mostly social dysphoria. Um, and then like, I have some bottom dysphoria. I really don't have chest dysphoria unless, and I'm uh, pre-op or non-op. I guess non-op. I'm kind of on the fence still about whether or not I want top surgery. That's like a whole other thing. Um, but like, I don't bind. I haven't binded. <laughs> I haven't bound. I haven't bound my chest. I haven't binded for like, probably since I've been on T for like, you know, two years. So I have a small chest. So that's part of it. Like, this is a very kind of revealing, you know, thin, tight shirt. Usually I would wear something bigger and you can barely see my chest. I don't find anywhere and people don't even notice, um, which is cool. Um, but like, even without a shirt, like I, you know, <laughs> like I visibly have booba. I visibly have booba. Um, but it doesn't bother me. I actually like my chest for the most part. Like it's very androgynous and cute. Like I like, you know, little hairy tits. <laughs> little hairy tits on a girl boy. We love that look. Um, the only thing is, the only thing that bothers me with it is, you know, if I am wearing something more revealing and I'm in public or around other people and I feel like they can see it and they're like thinking, you know, I don't know. It's mostly social dysphoria, but it's also kind of body dysphoria because it's, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Um, like it doesn't bother me, but it bothers me that other people are gonna see that and perceive it as female. Yeah, I'm okay with my chest. I'm st I still don't know whether or not I want to get top surgery. It used to be something that I like absolutely wanted as soon as possible, like I, definitely wanted it and I don't think that if I got it it would be something that I regretted um the only time I ever think about top surgery is like it would be easier to like wear whatever type of shirt I want or like you know people wouldn't look at me weird and like I could you know be shirtless and like you know play outside <laughs> or go swimming or whatever um and especially with like swimwear that's a fancy word especially with like swimwear and stuff it's like i don't like the way that i look um because i have kind of big hips and then the most comfortable type of shirt that i can wear is like some sort of tank top which is tight which like really accentuates my massive breasts and voluptuous hips <laughs> um, which isn't ideal um but it's also, you know, kind of goofy to go through, like, I don't know if, it, not a major surgery, like, a big surgery, like, this, I don't, it's like a big deal to get top surgery. And it would be goofy, I feel like, to get that just because I want to swim without a shirt on. But I don't think if I got top surgery, I wouldn't like it. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. I I'm not planning on getting it anytime soon. Um, 
I like my tits. If this is another thing, if we lived in a society where people didn't gender my cute little tits, I would be completely fine. If we lived in a society where, you know, hashtag free the nipple and, you know, people with breasts could, you know, go around shirtless and that was normal and that was fine and people wouldn't gender me based on that, I would be totally fine. <laughs> I wish I could do that, but I can't. Um, so yeah, that's my tit update. <laughs> I forgot to mention that my tits also changed. Um, this is a picture of me before T and then uh, like two years on T and you know, there's a lot of other differences that you can see. Um, I gained like 10 pounds, probably mostly in uh, pure rock hard muscle. <coughs> um, but like, you know, my face shape kind of changed. Um, I'm hairier, there's some weight redistribution, but you can't really tell in this picture. Um, but I want you to focus on my breasts in these photos. Um, pre tea, you know, they're very round and perky, and so are my nipples. Uh, on tea, they're kind of deflated and, like, flat and ovally. My nipples are sort of a sad little oval shape, um, which is poggers. Uh, howdy, partners. Uh, the rest of this here video is gonna contain uh, a content warning for uh, genitals and gay sex. So if that's uh, uncomfortable for you or dysphoria inducing, you might want to mosey on out of this here video. But thanks for watching. Yeehaw! <laughs> so, one of the big changes um, that I've had so far is uh, like vaginal atrophy and dryness um i am a bottom and i you know use my front hole for gay sex <laughs> so it's has been a very negative experience <laughs> let me describe my vagina by vagina i mean the you know the sort of <laughs> the whole the tube the inside part um she is a delicate little flower like it's i feel like it's paper mache <laughs> that's disgusting it's like it just feels so like everything hurts nothing feels good it's super dry it's super like tight and like which is you know that's a cute that's a cute sexy it's cute and sexy isn't it it's cute but it's tight it just hurts it's just bad it's like you know you stick something up there and it's like you shouldn't be putting stuff in there bud okay i'm finishing this video outside because my uh grandma just got home and i don't want to be talking about my poo tang while she's in there <laughs> but yeah i basically mentioned horrible pain during gay sex to my tea doctor and he was like well you need to get a pap smear so you should talk to them about that then and blah 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 and it was a whole thing and then i went and got it and they were like yeah your pussy's fucked man <laughs> um and they got me topical estrogen vaginal estrogen um which is basically a tube of goo and you put the goo in your putang and then it is supposed to you know make it basically the way it was before you know nice and juicy and pliant <laughs> um so i had to do that every day for two weeks i think and then uh two times a week after that um and at first it was kind of uncomfortable just because you know i don't know it's complicated because i want to be able to have hot gay sex um but at the same time i kind of liked you know not being so 
uh, juicy all the time. You know, that kind of makes me dysphoric to have a bunch of goo coming out of my hoo-ha all the time. Um, and I kind of did that for a while. Um, and then now I think I haven't been taking it as consistently as I should. So it's probably back to the way it was. I haven't been really shoving stuff up there lately because I'm like over it and I'm mad and I hate gay sex uh, because I had a bad experience with a guy on Grinder. <laughs> hey, I got another trigger warning for you. I'm gonna be talking about hysterectomy, uh, abortion and abortion laws, and I even mentioned sexual assault. So if it's something you're uncomfortable with, get out of here. The other thing is that I am getting a hysterectomy, which is pretty poggers. Um, it's not something that I ever like planned on getting um i didn't really get the point um and now that um i have so much you know incredible gay sex i <laughs> i um i don't know whatever the you know the big uh abortion ban thing happened uh in the u.s it freaked me out to me i see it as like a basic right you know the alternative is forcing people to give birth forcing people to be pregnant it's just like an incredibly traumatizing and disgusting thing to make someone go through when they don't want to um i love abortion i love people that give abortions i love people that get abortions forcing someone to be pregnant is taking away their bodily autonomy. But anyway, you know, obviously as a trans person, um, not obviously, like, <laughs> some trans people do have kids and that's awesome. But for me, that's not something that I want to do. Um, and I wouldn't feel safe uh, being a pregnant man, a visibly pregnant man in, a, in rural Pennsylvania. Um, it's, I just, it really, really bothers me. <laughs> it's disgusting. People should be allowed to do whatever the fuck they want with their bodies. I really find the whole thing really, like, triggering and upsetting. I am a sexual assault survivor, and just the thought of getting, having an unwanted pregnancy just freaks me out. So, I'm getting a hysterectomy, um, and that's gonna be in April, so, like, two months. Um... And I'm going to do, like, videos, like, vlogs or whatever about my recovery and the whole process and, you know, everything like that. So, yeah, this is me, uh, two years on T. I probably won't make another one of these until, like, you know, five years, ten years on T. I don't know if I'll make another one again. Um, but, yeah, that's how I'm doing right now. Um, I am still... Uh, uh, incredibly grateful and like I could just fucking cry my eyes out because I'm so happy and testosterone has been like an absolute lifesaver life changer like just everything's better <laughs> so yeah that's my video have a good time uh love yourself love everyone else peace and love forever um support solidarity community self-love self-care and positivity forever and ever that's how i'm ending this video <laughs> okay i love you bye